This is Molly Reamer with 30 Days of Goddess in Bridges Grove with this week's mini ritual using Earth Runes, which is a new system I'm developing this year for our Goddess Magic patrons on Patreon. Our Pandora card of the month from the Story Goddess Oracle, a little assist from the Sacred Creators Oracle, and some other materials for 30 Days of Goddess for April. And so I'm doing two rune cards. Since I skipped last week's divination video, I'm using two of the Earth Runes cards for this week's video. And the first is the Lightning Bolt, the Rune of Energy. And I am considering changing this one to the Rune of Inspiration. To me, this one really speaks of those goddess lightning strikes of inspiration that we sometimes experience. I really feel like my most powerful work has often come from being open to the inspiration and seizing the the lightning bolt of inspiration when it strikes and following where it leads instead of putting it off or waiting until it's perfect or waiting until I have it all figured out. And it's easy to wait till you have something all figured out, but I mean, that's it's easy to delay what you're actually going to do and what you can actually accomplish because you tell yourself you have to have it all figured out first. And I find that the best work comes from seizing the inspiration, following the information, inspiration and listening to the inspiration. So the rune of energy, Shakina Mountain Water, when she was writing about woman runes said that she experienced a goddess goddess lightning strike of inspiration to create that when i was writing the book i felt like that was a goddess lightning strike of inspiration the creating 30 days of goddess in the first place which has now been going on for four years was a goddess lightning strike of inspiration i literally just woke up one morning and felt like it dropped into my hands creating the story goddess oracle was one of those goddess lightning strikes of inspiration where it just kind of fell into my hands creating this earth runes deck was a goddess lightning strike of inspiration where it just dropped into Mark and my hands both it suddenly arrived, like something that arrives fully formed almost. So a rune of passion, creativity, change, sometimes of destruction and renewal, power and um, insight and inspiration. So where are you experiencing the call of inspiration? Are you following where it leads? Do you sense those goddess lightning strikes and are you able to seize them or do you put it off or wait for later or for the right time? And then our second one is the Pathfinder, which connects well with the following the inspiration because that sometimes those goddess lightning strikes open up the path and the way forward for you to follow. So the Pathfinder is the of exploration, witnessing, watching, noticing, walking, discovering, Pat's animal wisdom, listening to the landscape, stepping in and stepping through, routes, trails, treks, and deer trods. So how are you feeling about your path? Are you able to follow where it leads? Are you exploring, leaning in, digging deeper, witnessing, watching, noticing, walking? One of the things I wrote in the Woman, Woman Runes book was we make our own path by walking. And we do. When we, when we hesitate too long, when we wait for the right time for everything to be perfect, when we forget to seize those goddess lightning strikes of inspiration, sometimes we never make our own path. We make our own path by walking. So the Pathfinder. What are you listening to? What are you following? Where is inspiration guiding you onward? What are you noticing about your own path? What are you discovering about your own way? And then, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go with this one because it's so connected with walking and listening and finding our path. And this was one of our... uh, a uh, snapshot card for April's 30 Days of Goddess. Reminder, you can go to 30daysofgoddess.com for the free companion printables. And then if you're a member of our Goddess Magic community on Patreon, then you get additional expansions and additions, as well as a live community practice every Monday on Facebook. So let us remember that we walk in the palm of her, our, her hand, our own bodies, conduits of the holy, our lives and landscapes, sacred texts, this breath, a portal of presence, this heartbeat, a threshold of returning, this pause, a doorway to the sacred. We need only to listen. We need only to trust. We need only to remember. We need only to know. Here we are. We make our own magic wherever we go, right here in the palm of her hand. And then, let me see. I think I'm going to end the very last. I'm going to end with Pandora. So 
Our affirmation that I chose from the Sacred Creator's Oracle was cozy up with risk. And that actually goes pretty well with this lightning bolt. The possibility of destruction, the possibility of it all coming crashing down, the possibility of finding going the wrong way, the possibility of getting lost as you journey. Cozy up with risk. So what is your relationship like with risk? Do you let fear of risk hold you back from taking steps on your sacred path? And so the meaning of this this card can be the fearless pursuit of your dreams, though I would also say fear is normal. Fear is not necessarily a sign you sh should quit. Sometimes you can make fa f friends with your own fear, join hands with it, and keep continuing on your way. Uh, the ability to successfully manage risk, pushing past fear, new opportunities, creative expansion of what is possible, learning to bless fear and move ahead anyway. And so the self-care message here could be feeling stuck and inability to move forward, which is interesting because we were just talking about that on the path. If you don't take steps, you don't make your own path. So inability to feel forward, move forward, feeling controlled by fear or uncertainty, a time to release, being realistic about risk tolerance, the potential to be taking too many uncalculated risks to the point of recklessness. And then here it is. Risk is inevitable when you are pursuing your dream, when you are following the inspiration, when you are walking your sacred path. Risk is inevitable. So cozy, go on, cozy up and get to know each other. Risk is a little bit like a campfire. Both need to be watched and tended carefully. Neither should be feared. And respect and responsibility are part of the deal. Just as a campfire can be a magical catalyst for a hundred wonderful stories, risk can be the catalyst for a hundred realized dreams. Encountering risk means you are aware, pushing boundaries, and innovating. You are bravely trying new things, testing ideas, and living. This is a catalyst for something better. You are working towards an extraordinary life. And so that is interesting. And then considering that our message for our overall theme for April is trust, one of the questions that this is deck is by Chris Ann. One of the questions that she poses is what area in your life requires a little more trust from you? Could it be in your energy and inspiration? Could it be with your path? Could it be with your sacred work? What requires a little more trust from you? And so then the other little bit that I had here, this one just kind of popped out of the cut your own deck for me. And this is an excellent reminder, allowing small breaks and sacred pauses, breaths of the holy and scraps of beauty means that instead of waiting, you will live a life sprinkled around and through with magic. So when you seize the inspiration, when you follow, when you take the next steps, when you follow the path as it is unfolds before you. That means your life is sprinkled around and through with magic. You're not just waiting for it to begin. And so closing up with Pandora, and this one is the, so I have the, the set goddess packet that the members of our Goddess Guidance Club on Patreon get. And then I go ahead and make another one for myself that includes the spontaneously or intuitive, intuitively drawn cards instead of the ones that specifically go with this month. So the word that I received is surround. So may we be aware that we are surrounded by inspiration at all times, that we are surrounded by opportunities to take risks, step forward, and continue to walk our sacred path right here in the palm of her hand. And then an affirmation. Mm -hmm. I return to my own belonging. I really feel like my, so my word of the year this year was, is liberate and replenish, but I also sense return out there. I, I return often to the, the notion of returning. That's like at the heart of my practice. It's the heart of what I teach through 30 days of goddess is to return again and again, to come back home again and again, to return to your own belonging, to return to your own knowing, to return to presence, to return to center, return, return, return. And then there's two cards in here. One, this powerful reminder, I dedicate myself to living from center, to the path of the mystic and the ways of the priestess and the work of the goddess. Following those lightning strikes, those goddess lightning strikes. And then this is both a practice and a prayer of presence. Pause, give yourself a moment to be where you are. Feel the fire of creation, a light inside you. Feel a wild earth beneath your feet. Feel the universe dancing in your cells. Feel the breath of grace fill your belly. Center yourself into presence. Celebrate where you are right now.
And I just read Pandora's poem, but let's close with it anyway because it is important and it reminds us with the risk and the inspiration and the path and Pandora unlocking what have you shut away, what do you need to unlock in order to be, to follow your path, in order to follow the inspiration, in order to take risks, you know, what risks have have you allowed to shut off your dreams, your inspiration, your creativity? So what can we unlock? Listen, I know stories that reach the bone and open the eyes. I know poems that unbind the heart and loosen the limits. I know songs to connect the soul to the sacred. I know devotion that sears the skin with magic and cracks the heart with hope. I know prayers that unlock trust, that touch the depths and speak the truth. I know full color living, rich with magic, pulsing with grace and alive with awe. I am full of everything that matters. So may your life be full of inspiration. May it be full of creativity. May it be full of presence. May it be full of delight. May it be full of everything that matters. Remember, you walk in the palm of her hand. Keep living your magic. Bye-bye.